complaint. This case from 2018 involves the handling of Diamond Ross, a woman who the medical examiner says died from an accidental drug overdose while in custody. Fox 4's Allison Harris has more now from tonight's meeting. Allison. Heather, last month's meeting really could not have been more contentious. It erupted in a fight when people were initially not allowed public comment. Tonight, the meeting started with public comment. This was the chaos at the first ever Dallas Police Oversight Board meeting on October 8th, when public comment was added to that meeting only after the crowd got vocal and unruly. Tuesday night, the board's second meeting opened with this message. Followed by an hour of public comment. Several speakers say they have filed or will file complaints against officers about specific incidents. And I'm going to come back to the next meeting to see if you followed up on it. My family was shook when they seen these videos and we were disturbed. A relative of Diamond Ross spoke. Ross's death while in Dallas police custody in August 2018 was ruled an accidental drug overdose. Police video and details from an internal investigation were only recently released. DPD says the district attorney declined to pursue criminal charges. Ross's family says they're calling for action from the department and the DA. And for her to ask for multiple, multiple times for water, for help, no one thought to help her throughout that whole process. My aunt could still be here today. One complaint has even been filed against the police chief herself after police asked people to leave the last meeting and people pushed back. Chief Renee Hall jumped in. I'm not going to let us in this room act like animals. I'm not. In my complaint, I actually uh, expressed um, poli uh, Chief Hall to uh, recuse herself from this uh, investigation. There are still questions about how this board will help investigate complaints. Complaints are made officially to the city's Office of Police Oversight. The board can then accept complaints, subpoena for sworn testimony, review evidence and facts in critical incidents, and request disciplinary action be taken. Diamond Ross's death in police custody last year will be the first complaint that this board takes up at their next meeting next month. We also got an update from the assistant city manager tonight who said that they've been trying to fill this job of a police monitor who would work for the city and be a liaison to the police oversight board. He said tonight that they have received 70 applications and they're in the process of trying to hire that position. Heather and Steve. Okay. Allison Harris at City Hall. Thank you.